Hey, what's going on, guys? So, welcome to game two of the Insector versus the E Hero deck. So, our Insector windup player decided to set three back row, and then our player in the red decided that he was going to activate Duality, and he's adding Solemn Warning to his hand, which is uh, a really good card against Insectors. Um, because if they don't get their summon off, they can't really do anything. Deep Prison isn't as viable, though, uh, against them, because uh, they usually like to pop your entire field before attacking. So our player in the red is going to be sending pretty hefty back row here, and uh, he doesn't really have to worry about Heavy Storm, because our player in the blue uh, did uh, set quite a bit as well. And so he committed to the field. Summon Hunter, um, which will probably get. Oh, got bottomless. Okay. So that was interesting. Which was a good play. I think that uh, bottomlessing that card was. was reasonable. Um, although he could have waited for someone to activate like more effects. And I, again, the player in the blue is activating Solemn Judgment against Alias. And I'm still curious to why he doesn't like Alias. Um. Because th they do run, I, I'm thinking perhaps because of Gemini Spark, um, that's the reason why, um, you know, he didn't activate, he activated Solemn, he didn't want him to have Gemini Spark. But you see, um, when he activates Reborn, he can, you know, chain a Hero Blast. You don't actually have to destroy a card, you just have to add the card to your hand. And so... Yeah, using Solemn on that just didn't seem like a good option once again. Uh, it felt like a waste of a Solemn to me. <laughs> and he, so he's going to be able to plus one off of that, and his opponent has used Reborn, which is a really good power card. It looks like our wind-up Insector play just cannot draw those monsters. And uh, even at this moment, um, he does know that the player in the red has a Solemn Warning, um, because he added it with Duality first turn. Alias is going to be attacking that. Ooh, Effect Failure. When you're setting Effect Failure, um, you're in a bad position. Um, because, well, then again, because Effect Failure isn't like that great against E-Heroes to begin with. So that could be a possible reason why. Stratos here. Uh, you can add an Alias. Let's see what he uh, goes for. He's probably going to go, yeah, going for Alias. That's pretty much their main target. Although some do play Ice Edge or they play Ocean. Although I would have opted to pop one card. I thought that wouldn't have been a bad idea either. <coughs> oh wow, Maxi. Which is another card that uh, isn't the greatest against heroes. It's just a net, uh, uh, essentially like a plus one. At most, really. They have Miracle Fusion plus like Reborn. But technically, it's just like a one for one. So he's checking his graveyard and see if he has any possible plays. Because it looks like he really needs to play, and that can just get warning. Um, as and see, that's why I was curious to why he used Solemn Judgment so early because he needed Solemn Judgment as a response to warning. And here again, guys, um, another great reason why. Um, I don't think it's that great to, uh, you know, activate Solemn on that alias because, uh, you know, he's just going to abuse alias over and over. Call of the Haunted. Ooh. We possibly see a comeback. And also, another thing to note, why would he uh, just activate MST? I would activate MST and then summon a card. I think that that is more optimal. <laughs> wow. This is pretty intense. We're seeing so many different plays here. Um, so he's going to go for, well... A dark, so that elemental hero, dark elemental hero, which uh, <laughs> is absolutely devastating. That was a pretty intense uh, last uh, play over there, as you guys can see. But uh, realistically, as you guys can see, uh, elemental heroes really do have a really great matchup against windups and insectors. Uh, that's kind of why I built that one uh, trooper deck, just to mill in the alias. It just works so well. And uh, obviously, since he generated so much card advantage, that super poly was uh, quite uh, game breaking. But uh, if he did have Hornet, it would have been a uh, a different story had he not have Super Poly, perhaps. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asianized White Dragon, signing out.